Well, hello there, friends. I'm making my famous hash brown with cheese, like a potato galette. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned. We're going to make them right now. Well, hello there, friends. Very exciting recipe that a lot of you have requested. You wanted to see my hash brown. Well, get ready, because we're going to make a souped-up hash brown. Kind of like a potato galette, if you will. That's what we did. We're making more elegant, if you will. All right. To get this ready, uh, we're going to need a few ingredients. So I got my mise en place. Remember, very important. A lot of you have said to me, hey, we're doing so much better than we're doing our mise en place. So great for you guys. We need, um, this is about a cup of uh, diced onion. I got a little clarified butter. If you don't have clarified butter, you're a good olive oil would work. Whole butter. Two butter. A uh, little cayenne pepper. I got some onion salt. If you don't have any onion salt, you can use garlic salt. I also use, friends, it's a, um, it's a, uh, a, a granulated garlic that I get. It's grown in California. I get that at Costco. And, uh, and it's just pure garlic that has been dehydrated and ground up. That's all it is. And it's grown in California. It's a good product from Costco, inexpensive and wonderful. I got it right there. I got about a, 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 a teaspoon of it. If I, it's, I use that instead of using fresh garlic because fresh garlic is going to burn in here. And I don't want it to burn, okay? We could add it if you want later. If you don't have any, don't worry about it. All right. Then I got some chopped parsley. Got two eggs, two tablespoons of cornstarch, two potatoes. <laughs> Too, too, too easy to remember. I got a little bit of provolone cheese, and I got a very thin slices of cheddar cheese. All right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sauteing my onion, okay? And uh, we're going to caramelize them. And uh, we're going to let them do that. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to grate the potatoes. I peel them, and I keep them in, in ice water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grate them in the, in the big cheese grater. I'm just going to grate them. And um, in a big, in a big, uh, in a big, uh, big, the, whatever you call them, big, big hole, not the small hole, right? All right, we're going to grate them, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse them in water, and I'm going to squeeze the water out of them, okay? And I'm going to do all this, I'm going to caramelize the onion, and when the potatoes are all uh, washed and drained, I'm going to squeeze the water out of it. And then I come back, we put it all together. All right? So I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to take my time to do all this. And I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay, friends. So the uh, potatoes are dry. They don't have to be super, super. Don't worry about it. Squeeze them as best as you can. If you got a towel, put them in a the towel. Squeeze them with a the towel. It's, it's okay if there's a little moisture in there. Don't worry about it. You don't have to be like crazy about it. The eggs, we broke the egg. We're going to break the egg. And we're going to put them in a cornstarch. And it's going to require some mixing because cornstarch doesn't like to dilute in cold. Okay? Cornstarch doesn't like cold, so we have to convince it to it. And that's okay. We can do that. We're going to do it with a, with a little cayenne first. Just a little bit of cayenne. Now, you don't have to have cayenne, but cayenne is kind of special. It's very spicy, but it's okay if you put it in the background. You don't really know it. It's in the back. A uh, little onion salt or, or garlic salt, whichever one you have. If you have the onion salt, it's delicious. A little bit of black pepper. I like uh, the coarse black pepper. The chopped parsley. I didn't forget nothing. Now we're going to convince the cornstarch that it's okay. And we're going to mix and mix it up, mix it up. You see? And the cornstarch is going to require just a little bit. That's why I took a, a whisk to do it with. Cornstarch normally likes uh, hot water to dilute, but if you convince it, <laughs> I have a talk with him, it does it. We're going to put our garlic powder, which is our garlic. It's pure garlic. It's not going to burn. We're not concerned about it. And it's really a phenomenal product. Costco has a lot of nice stuff. I don't want to be promoting Costco especially, but they do a nice job. All right, so. Then we take our onion. Then I caramelized. We mix all this first, friends. And the reason why we do this 
is because now we're going to introduce this to the potato. It'll make it easier to, um, to incorporate everything together. You see? Now all of a sudden your potatoes, we're going to put maybe just a little bit more onion. I think I'm going to put just a little bit more per, uh, black pepper. Mix it up as, as best as you can, friends. In the fry pan, we're going to put a little bit of clarified butter. Why do I use clarified butter instead of whole butter? Because whole butter is going to burn. Clarified butter is not going to burn. A little bit of clarified butter. If you don't have clarified butter, friends, you use a good olive oil. Eh? Go to good olive oil, like a garlic olive oil. It would be perfect in there. All right? So far, so good, right? Easy. Right? You have to admit, this is easy, yeah? <laughs> you have to admit. You don't have to admit, but I think it would be nice. <laughs> All right, friends, look. Now we're going to put half of this in the pan. Mix it up as best as you can. I'm checking to make sure I don't forget nothing. Because it wouldn't be the first time, right? But I'm in there half of it. And what we want to do is we want to cover the bottom. I made a mess. Come back over here. You. Let's make sure we have a nice even layer, friends. Even, even layer. Okay, cover the whole thing. I don't want to see any bottom of the pan here. Otherwise, I just put a little bit more. If I do, I just want to make sure we don't see any at the bottom of the pan. And we want to be elegant, remember? We want to try to be as elegant as we can. We're doing pretty good. A little more here. Okay. So now, you notice I have the heat, friends, at the medium-low, maybe a little higher. Don't want it to be too high, medium low. Now we're going to take our cheese. So the cheese, friends, it's really up to you. What cheese you want to put in here. Eh? You put mozzarella, put provolone and cheddar. You put whatever cheese you want, friends. It's really, really, really up to you to put the cheese you want. Very thin slices. This is more elegant. But like I said, this, this is your, your pie, your, your potatoes. You do whatever you want, okay? And, and, and then cheddar, very thin slice of cheddar. Again, we'll do the same thing. You can just put one kind of cheese. You don't have to put two of them. You don't have to put, uh, you can put any cheese you want. I put them on the, I get them at the, at the deli. I ask them to cut it nice at the deli. They do a nice job for me. You see? Put the cheese in there. All right? And this time we're gonna have one for the middle. Because we didn't have enough for the other one, right? All right, so now friends, we're gonna put the rest of the potatoes. Make sure you heat this low now, otherwise you're gonna burn it. And now this is where you, you know if you did a good job dividing it. <laughs> So, so far, so good here, friends. And now there's a, make sure we don't go too high now. I think we're good. They see, see a little bubbling, that's okay. I think I might have put just a little too much in the bottom. Don't do the same mistake. I shouldn't be seeing any cheese, you see? I'm seeing a little cheese, or maybe next time I get bigger potatoes. Right? You can't see any cheese. All right, so now, what we're going to do, friends, we're going to put a little bit more salt and pepper, just a little bit more. I know we're salty already, but we like to have a nice little crust in here. All right? All right, so a little more salt and pepper. I, you know, I like to use the coarse black pepper, but you use whatever makes you happy. A little more of the onion salt. And now, friends, make sure it's nice. 
you're going to do now, you're going to take a cover, as we need a cover. I don't use cover often. And now, friends, we're going to cook this for 15 minutes. Don't touch it. Go do something. Come back in 15 minutes, I'll show you what to do, what we do. For you, it'll be just a slap. A snap, a slap, not a slap, a snap. I'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, friends, depends your burner. Be careful, make sure your burner is not too hot. So now we're going to flip it on the other side. The best way to flip it on the other side, friends, you take your pan, the way, that's the way I do it. I like to do it that way. I take a plate big enough to, and then I take one of those large tiles, and I do one of those, and I flip it. Make sure the, make sure the pan stays, because they're not going to flip right away. Make sure the pan stays right there. So now what we do, we take it from here, friends, and we flip it right back to cook the other side. And the other side is just going to take a really quick amount of time, friends, because everything is cooked at this point. You see? Everything is cooked. And uh, uh, all we're doing here is just getting the, 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 the other side uh, golden brown. So we're going to flip it. And uh, in a second, we'll flip it back on the plate. And then we'll cut it. And then we'll enjoy. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Just give it about three or four, five minutes. Three, four, five. <laughs> Make it four minutes. On the other side, until it's golden brown, I got the high heat on it, so it's not going to take no time at all. I know everything is cooked. It's just a question of getting a nice and golden brown. All right? We'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, friends. Real quick. I have five minutes on the other side. You don't need much time. If you want to flip it again on the other side, you can do that as well. Just same deal, eh? Like this. Make sure your plate is really in the middle. And so you can check your other side to make sure you did a good job. And, uh, and it should be perfectly fine on the other side. And voila, my friends, you have yourself whew, a hash brown that is very classy looking. <laughs> and not only that, but it's going to taste great. Okay? Now, I'm all about taste. <laughs> I know a lot of you like it to be very crispy, friends. This is, uh, if you want it crispy, you just got to cook a much higher, much darker. It's the only way you get the crisp. I'm more interested in a nice, chewy, uh, a cheesy uh, potato, you see? And that's what we're getting here. You're getting a cheesy, crispy, a little bit, but mostly cheesy potato. And right there, my friends, you have yourself an amazing, uh, I'm absolutely amazing. Look at, look at this, friends. You can see the cheese is melting, the potatoes are cooked to perfection right there. And, uh, and this is, this is absolutely amazing. You see, look at that. Right there with all your cheese melting, crispy on the other side right there a little more. Uh, oh, mm. oh, oh, you should wait before you eat them because it's super hot. But that's amazing. I hope you try to make it. Thanks for watching. For <laughs> Thank you for watching the video, friends. Thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring that bell. We'll see you in the next couple of days with another fantastic video. Thanks for watching.